Hi everyone, my name is Jessica and this is Jake and today we're going to share with you how to make a very easy, delicious, farm fresh turkey salad. Simple recipes, clean, you're going to love it. Okay, we're going to prep the lettuce right now. Um, I love the way Jake cleans his lettuce. He cuts lemon and just cleans it um, with his hand. So we're going to throw that in there. Here you go, Jake. That's it. And if you find you don't have a fresh lemon on hand, you can use doTERRA's lemon essential oil too. It's a really good fruit and veggie wash. I have a kitchen tip for you guys. If you have lettuce or bok choy or onion or green onions, all you gotta do is chop the bottom off and then place it and a bowl of water, put it on your windowsill, and then you'll have fresh lettuce for weeks. It'll start growing out the middle. Also, when I was cutting this nectarine, I noticed that the pit has already split, and we have a little seed that's growing in the middle of it. All you gotta do is put it in a little paper towel with some water, leave it in there for 10 days, maybe a week, and it'll start sprouting. Then you throw it in the dirt, and then you have yourself a nectarine tree. So we're going to talk about seasoning a little bit. Salt and pepper is the go-to for pretty much everything that I cook. Uh, started to experiment a little bit um, and added sage to this. Uh, sage is good on poultry. Other than that, stick to salt and pepper. Can't go wrong. A little bit of garlic maybe. All right, seasoned turkey breast, hot iron skillet. I don't know if this is actually the proper way. What I like to do is just do a real quick sear on there, put it in the oven, slow cook it while kind of prepping everything else and getting it ready. So. All right, a chopping tip, one so you don't cut your fingers uh, when doing it, is anything that you're grabbing, whether it's a pile or imagine something around, is that you cup your fingers over that, right? So your fingers aren't sticking out, which we tend to have the tendency to do that, is that tuck them in that way, such as this pile, and then you use the knife against your knuckles so your fingertips are underneath. And then you can really just go through there and you have no risk of cutting your fingers and doing anything on there. So make some salad dressing, uh, kind of three, uh, three things that make up almost all salad dressings is a fat, an acid, and seasoning. So we're using olive oil on there, our, and that's our fat. Acid will be lemon, and then salt and pepper is all it's gonna be in there, real simple. This is your simple red cabbage salad. All you gotta do is chop up the red cabbage and add a citrus. You could do lime juice, you could do lemon juice, or you can do apple cider vinegar, even balsamic vinegar. I like to slice up carrots and put that in there, a little bit of onions, just really, really thin, and a little garlic powder, pink salt, and it's amazing. You could keep it in your fridge for three to four or five days. You can have it right away, or you can let it ferment a little bit and then have it in a few days. It's delicious every time.
how beautiful these plates are. Look at all the colors. Thanks for letting us cook for you. Hope you enjoy.